So guys, so let's talk about philosophy, okay? So, the meaning of life, right? So we're born, okay? And by a series of genetic factors, a series of um, how your upbringing is, uh, what kind of environment you're raised in, that kind of formulates who you are, are going to be as an adult. So, in some sense, our potential is all determined from birth, and that's nothing new, really. Some people really just get screwed over in life. Some people have it easy. That goes back to the old saying of, life isn't fair, but make do with what you have, and Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. And I'm not uh, religious in the, the Catholic, in the Catholic way, but I would respect everyone's opinion on that matter. Because religion's a very complicated topic, right? I mean, there's a lot of people out there that will say they're atheists. And I guess I've thought I was atheist before, although now I really don't think that is the case. I just, I don't know. I just don't see how, if atheists, atheism is the answer, well, then someone tell me where the hell the earth popped out of. You know what I mean? I mean, what? Science can explain a lot of things, and I don't doubt that, but no one is going to be able to answer the question of where the hell the earth popped out of. No one's going to be able to answer the question of, like, I don't know. Why are we here? That kind of stuff. And I get that science can enhance our understanding of that. But I think, in my opinion, a, like a creator of some sorts isn't like completely out of the question. But that's just my opinion. I don't know what sort of creator. I kind of actually like the idea of nature as being kind of a a mentor to us because nature if you think about it right when we die in nature not anymore but our bodies decompose back into the ground then those very same since uh, energy and all that cannot be created or destroyed that very energy is used to create I don't know look trees uh, other animals so if you think about it we're all kind of recycled products of each other. That being said, it kind of like links everything together in nature. So, if everything in nature is linked together, then what's to say that nature isn't the sort of supernatural thing that we're looking for? I don't even know if supernatural is the right word because I think even a rational like a very rational atheist person would agree with me that that kind of explanation isn't too far out there. So, still though, that still leaves the question of how did humans get here as a species and what the hell, how did, what is the universe and all that? And I don't know if we're ever gonna know the answer to those questions. Some people say it's a waste of time to even think about those. They say just kind of accept what you have and move on. And it's not a bad idea, really, because you can get caught up in thinking about that. But if I'm being honest here, I enjoy thinking about it, and I enjoy sharing my opinions on this topic and seeing what other people have to say. Because I'm never someone who's going to be like, I'm right and you're wrong. You know, that's not me. Because I take everyone's opinion badly. I do have a few biases of my own. I'm not completely, I'm not perfect at all. But I'm willing to listen to other people's opinions. And guys, that's a lot more than some people are willing to do I mean if you if you go into like a 
Alabama or something and a, a small town state and you try to uh, start expressing liberal ideas, no, you're gonna get shut down. And the same thing goes with uh, if you go into a liberal place like New York and you say something like, well, you know, maybe like, maybe white people aren't as racist as they're made out to be, well then you're gonna get called a racist. So I'm not trying to take a side on that, I'm just saying. The facts are there. It's about listening to the other side. That's very important. And somehow, I feel like this kind of like, I don't know what you call it, 21st century mentality is kind of like shut out the other person's opinion, right? If you don't like what the, if you don't like who gets elected for president, well, let's have a protest. If you don't like where something is going, well, let's call them idiots. Instead of like, I don't know, I just feel like maybe a day will come when we can move past that kind of like reason with each other. Some people are unreasonable. So I don't get mad at people who are like, they don't even want to listen to the side. But I really think you should. If you're one of those people, and I really hope this video uh, kind of inspires you to change a little bit.